Born in the 1800s, full of warehouses and mills, this place was left for dead in the late 1900s. Now revitalized and rejuvenated, we're going into South End. It has made a complete turnaround. When I started working here about 32 years ago, you wouldn't dare come in without carrying a pistol and washing your back. Now uh, the area has completely turned around. We've got new neighbors behind us and apartments. The businesses are coming back, revitalizing it. It's a different type of uh, atmosphere than it was back then. But uh, I think it's good for the area, good for the city. Before we begin our adventure for the day, we're stopping off at Big Bend Pub. We're filled up on English bangers, brown beans, eggs, fish and chips. If that's not your cup of tea, head over across the yard to Luna's Kitchen. Get all the vegetarian delights you like. Maybe you want to cook something on your own, get over to the market. You need plenty of characters, just like Bill from Pickleville. Pink pickles for Valentine's Day, folks? Yes. They're not the best, they're the finest. After the market, we dropped by Lulu's Hair Salon just to see what was going on, and then we made our way out to one of many shops and retail stores all around the South End District. When I first moved to Charlotte, uh, I saw the market. There was a lot of apartments being built. I saw there was a lot of bars with a lot of young people. It wasn't, and it also had a good value of you know where you want to live. It wasn't as expensive as living in uptown, but it also had the opportunities to go out and enjoy the social life. South End seemed like the place to be. Like, I love Tiber Creek. I love all the bars around here. I love the, the life. It's, that's a great place. South End is comprised mostly of apartments, condos, townhomes, anything from a simple loft to a luxury three-bedroom unit. If you prefer a neighborhood setting, you can find that as well, just on the outskirts. So we're about to enter into a classic bungalow of the historic Dilworth area right on the border of South End. Come on, let's take a look. This one has been renovated quite nice. Well appointed, beautiful hardwood floors. Please take a look. So you won't find single family homes in the South End District. You have to venture west to Wilmore, or you can go east to Dilworth. There's renovated homes, some that might need your TLC, bungalows, traditional, Victorians, there's all kinds of choices. Hopping back into the South End District, a place that you have to stop at is Price's Chicken Coop. And of course, it's super packed right now. <laughs> KFC is nothing compared to this. Soft, delicious, flavorful. This is, has to be some of the best fried chicken I've ever had. So, here we go. We're about to enter the common market. This is one of my favorite spots in all of Charlotte. You can show up in your pajama bottoms or a button-up shirt. It doesn't matter. Everyone's just hanging out and having a great time. It's great during the summer. It fills up. You meet a lot of beautiful people, beautiful women, beautiful men, whatever you're into. We also have drink specials inside. We make one of the best, seriously, the best mimosa that you can possibly get in this side of town. As the sun dropped and the moon made its appearance, we ventured out over to Max Speed Shop for some awesome barbecue and then made our way over to one of the many microbrews that surround the area. I mean, who doesn't love a place that allows dogs inside and out and serves beer? One of our favorite stops in the night was Kraft, located right on the corner of Church and Bland. We were fortunate enough to meet up with owner Dan Davis. I love cheese, I love uh, beer, so we put 36 taps of uh, mostly local North Carolina, South Carolina stuff. Um, and then we've got like a little cheese shop, specialty grocery store, and bottle shop. Uh, you know, we get a great mix of people from here. We get a whole bunch of people from Dilworth, the Wilmore neighborhood, uh, you know, everybody from the South End area and uh, beyond, like people from Rock Hill come and hang out over here. Excellent. And so often are we going to find you here? Oh, I work every day but Sunday. <laughs> For the nightcap, we stopped off at one of South End's original watering holes, the Gin Mill. You can find live music, entertainment, and just a good old time. What keeps me here? <laughs> the entertainment. I think the uh, same bartenders, same people that work in the area, we come back to the same people. The bartenders are awesome. That's why we come back. We're kind of stupid for you, ladies and gentlemen. We didn't have enough time to experience all that South End has to offer. There's Food Truck Fridays, there's a couple of great music venues, we'll definitely be back. If you're looking to have a place to call home where you can go shopping, get your hair styled, pick up some pickles at the market, eat English bangers and drink some fine suds with friends, maybe you just want to relax in your sleek studio condo. 
come experience South End. This place is exciting and relaxing, historic and trendy, massive expansion with a grip on character. Until next time. And I'm holding all the trees and I got a lot of weed and they spot me with that info free. I'm in the mood to sing, oh, the LSU, oh, they come and do. Just call me, don't worry, we don't know, tell them alone In the mood, it's like, oh, the hell is